So when Carrie and I talked, he talked about a challenging season that you two had been through and your decision to really work on that to build a better marriage. Um, what is your perspective of that? How do you see that time in your guys' marriage? Well, he, uh, he, he didn't exaggerate. It was, a, it was a rough season in our marriage. We can joke about it now and say it was the, the 10 year argument. Uh, you know, now we can laugh, but then we yeah. definitely weren't laughing. And we just got caught in a, a long season of struggle that we've come to understand was multi-layered. There were various things going on, um, but um, you know, 2020 hindsight helps us to see things uh, that you don't see at the time. Right. Um, but it, it really was so difficult that at one point we did wonder, is this what the end looks like? Mm. And uh, by the grace of God, we've been able to go through a healing journey. And we're now on the other side. Uh, our marriage is better than we ever would have imagined. When we were married, I don't think we ever uh, thought that marriage could be this good after so many years. That's awesome. And gosh, that's what I hope everyone can get a glimpse of that. I, I, anything particular that you guys that made you guys fight for it when you made, cause I see so many couples in the counseling room that, and hear about couples that get to that tough spot and they just, from my perspective, a lot of times just don't persevere through it. There's not something that was so devastating that they couldn't work through, but it seems like it's so easy sometimes to give up. And I think just hearing what you were saying there, if you give up, you don't get what you and Carrie were able to work through and, and like to be able to say that this is the best time in your marriage. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, I've recently heard someone say that um, you, you don't know, the size, like the scope of the reward that awaits you on the other side of not giving up. And um, yeah, when Carrie and I got to that rough place, uh, I remember one night in particular, we went out for a date night. Um, we really were exhausted. We weren't in great emotional space for a date night, but it was on the calendar and, you know, we made the plans. Yeah. Went. But we ended up having a, a blowout argument. And it was one night where we actually did have a conversation about it. You know, is this it? Uh, what would happen if we did go our separate ways? And at that point, I think both of us uh, realized that that wasn't really what we wanted. Uh, it was that I wanted this painful version of our marriage to be mm. gone and the, the fun and the closeness that we had at the beginning to uh, be a part of our relationship again. And so it was in that, um, you know, those moments, moments like that, where I think both of us responded by remembering that we made a vow to mm. each other. We made it not only to each other, but also to God. And Ecclesiastes 4.12 was one of the verses that we included in our, in our wedding ceremony. Um, it says, a cord of three strands is not quickly broken. And the interpretation we took from, from that verse is that you know, two of us together, we're, we're two cords, um, but Jesus is the third strand. Mm. And with the, with those three strands woven together, if if two of them are broken, the way Carrie and I really did feel like we were disconnected, and if we were two strands, we we weren't connected with each other, and we weren't even feeling, you know, like we were functioning well ourselves. So you could say our two okay. strands were broken, but we both did carry that belief that that. Jesus is holding us together. And we would both say that if it hadn't been for that belief, I'm not sure we would have made it mm. through.